Good morning, it's day 26. Our water is pretty much frozen. That one is, this one's completely frozen. Even our shoes are frozen. Oh, okay, gotta get warm. All right, taking a little bit of a break. Uh, I stopped to take my down jacket off and I told Kayla I'd catch up to her. It's been about two hours now. I still have not caught up to her. Uh, I think her trail legs have kind of kicked in and uh, might have too, but she just, oh my gosh, she just blasted ahead of me. I, I haven't seen her since. So we'll be, I'll probably meet her at the road when we go into Irwin. So another few hours, unless I magically catch up to her uh, since I am taking a bit of a break to eat lunch since uh, it's turned out to be a pretty nice day. And uh, I found a shelter here, so I'm gonna have some lunch. So real quick, just wanted to bring up the fact that this shelter looks brand new. Um, I don't know the name of it right now, but I'll put it right here. Um, but the, it doesn't even have any graffiti on it. What I do like is that they have, it's called a hiker graffiti board. So they're like, if you're gonna do graffiti, just do it on this. I like that idea, because this shelter is pretty clean. I don't see anything. This is the first shelter I've seen this entire trip that did not have a single thing written on any of the wood. So yeah, a little fun fact for you guys. Ooh, we made it. Caught up to Spicy Brown and Captain America. Ooh. All right. Yeah? My wife said that this place that she booked for me was 100 yards from the trail. Good morning. It is day 27. We stayed at uh, Uncle Johnny's hostel last night. A uh, couple of bunk beds, so wasn't too bad. Actually got a decent night's sleep, shower, laundry, resupplied. Got way too much food. Sorry, I'm whispering because someone is still sleeping, even though it's like nine o'clock, but whatever. Anyways, we are all packed out and ready to go. Whew. About two minutes in, we're already taking a break because we're exhausted. Not, yeah, not, not actually. <laughs> now we found train tracks, so we're gonna do some handstands and get some Instagram photos and uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm excited. All right, so I have a bit of a confession to make. I uh, haven't really been working on my handstands. <laughs> I want to try to. I think maybe when it gets a little warmer out and we have a little more time in the day. It's just, you know, when it's cold like this, you don't really want to stop moving. And like, when you eat lunch halfway through the day, you kind of just eat and then get gone. Like the goal is to work on my handstands either first thing in the morning or uh, during lunch before I eat. <laughs> don't even be messing with my stomach. But uh, anyways, a little bit of an update gear wise. I got a new, rock bag kit. I'm a little hesitant on it because it's really, really thin, but I got it from the hostel and I don't know, it looked like it should work and I didn't want to pay $45 for a thicker one. So we'll see how that works tonight because we're staying at a campsite. Uh, I couldn't get a new knock bag or anything to squeeze water out of. So we're gonna wait until the next town and go into an outfitters. Uh, Killer was able to send home her uh, pair of shoes and her rain jacket. And I'll let Killer tell you about her new shoes because they're pretty fancy. 
<laughs> yeah, focus. They're blue. And I'm excited. And it looks like you stepped on something on the bottom. Oh, that's lovely. Well, <laughs> <this is> <laughs> <laughs> Captain America literally just told you not to get your new shoes dirty. <laughs> They're kind of cool think. though. Yeah. I was blue. telling her they're even uh, the yellow on it's even brighter than the banana in her pocket. <laughs> yeah, they have a lot more support, so I'm excited to see. Yeah, her last shoes were what ultra, ultra lone, lone peaks. peaks. Yeah. You can feel which, everything in them. Yeah. So she's giving these a try. Yeah. I'm still on my first pair of shoes. Pretty happy with them. Yeah. I might get another pair of these after because pretty good, but uh, yeah. Hi everyone. Yeah, hello. <laughs> Haven't uh, gotten much video of you actually talking, so. Yeah, we're having a lot of fun, besides yeah. today, because it's a lot of climbing, so I'm really excited. <laughs> <laughs> but you had some coffee this morning. Yeah. Some ice cream, Coffee, some cake. ice cream, cake, <laughs> Jimmy Dean's, an apple, banana. I feel like I'm just fat. <laughs> but you're not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get going. things that I highly recommend whenever you are coming out of a town is pack out a banana too. Uh, words. Pack out a banana or two. There you go. It helps a lot with sore muscles. A lot. Um, just a potassium, that, maybe some fig newton bars. Fig, fig bars? Fig newtons? I don't know what they're called. I just, know they're, I just call them figs. But uh, yeah, bananas. Or they, honestly, just the sugar in them too kind of gives you a little bit of boost and energy. And uh, yeah, if you guys can't tell, I'm not really that great at talking today. Uh, I'm not tired. I just, I don't know. I'm kind of in one of those moods where it's just nice to hike and not talk too much and maybe take some video of the scenery around me if you guys haven't already noticed. And yeah, I'm just going to continue doing that. Uh, we got about a 13 mile day today. We're already about five and a half miles in. And it's not even noon. Uh, it's actually 1230. It is noon. So we'll probably be at camp around 430. And it's been getting dark around 8 now. So have a lot of time to uh, dry out our tents. And just kind of relax for the night. This nonsense. <laughs> I think uh, some people need to come out and remove this tree. <laughs> I'm too short for this. Yep. There you go. There you go. You got it. Let's do it. Okay, we're good. Yeehaw! Whoop, whoop. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Is there a thing here that's going to poke my pack? No. Okay, cool. Womp womp. Womp womp. Where you and your now? Nah, I'm going to get a lot of comments saying, you shouldn't be recording while you're doing this. You're going to fall. I probably will. But, got to learn my lesson the hard way, right? He's tall. He's got it. I think the only thing making this hard is the fact that I'm recording. Woohoo! Whoop whoop. <laughs> All right. Man, it's so nice out today. Whew. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Again. Again. <laughs> that banana was really tasty. Yeah. My bunch of grandma's just crashed. Yeah. Got to be better at... Timing when you eat. Timing eating yeah. food. Yeah. See, it's hard to talk to the camera, right? It is. I've been messing I've, it up. I'll get better at it, I promise. Yeah. Slowly. I promise that too. So far, I haven't really kept that up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'm thankful today that the climbs have not been that bad. Yeah. I mean, they've been tough, but yeah. not as bad as I thought they were going to be. So. Also, this right here would be a great thumbnail, so I'm going to get a picture of this. <sighs> All right, got about five miles left. There is basically no water source between here and there, so we just, uh, hold on a second. 
Whew. Okay, I just want to check on gut hooks and see what the name of this gap was. We are at Indian Grave Gap. Uh, it had a water source a little bit down the road, so I went and filtered some water. Lots of it. It's going to be fun carrying this up the rest of this elevation. I'm excited. Yeah, but we'll have plenty of water tonight, so. Yes. Yeah, let's go. Whoa, would you look at this? How often is it on the Appalachian Trail you can actually hike next to somebody? I know, it's weird. Pretty cool. No, I'm not making my own trail here. The trail's actually wide enough. It's like a, <laughs> almost like a little fire road kind of, but it's kind of nice. Don't gotta just stare at the back of your pack every day or your Crocs. <laughs> Ooh. All right, so this is pretty interesting. Looks like they had a controlled burn here. You can see all the black. But right by the trail, it's like perfectly intact. It's like they, it's a very, very controlled fire. Avoided just the trail, burnt everything else. And obviously, you know, not the trees, it's not what they do in, the, in a controlled burn. Just all the brush and stuff. Whew, it's kind of neat. Also, I think we're about to have another view. Yeah, it is. Man, this just got even like more crazy the farther up we've gone. It's been pretty cool, although, I mean, you can still see some of the trees look like actually still caught on fire. But, uh, oh, hello there. yeah. Is that Whistler? <laughs> How you liking all the, the char and stuff on the ground? <laughs> yeah. the last mile it's got to be this steep Whew. so focused on that climb I didn't realize there's some pine trees or spruce trees or whatever these are it's almost like we're back in the Smokies <laughs> oh, more stairs all right we made it to the campsite <clears throat> if I can talk the campsite for tonight got Whistler over here hey. super happy he's got his trail name yeah. killer gave that to him to him I know we're just like 0.4 miles short of uh, Unica, yeah, Unica Mountain. So we're gonna get to see a nice sunrise tomorrow. Bit of a sunset today, and uh, yeah. All right, it's starting to get dark out. Figured I'd just end the video here for the day. Uh, so since there's not really a name for this tent site, I can't really, I mean, I guess I'll just say it's uh, Unica Mountain, but uh, I'm gonna try to start either saying or putting it down here in like a title kind of thing, uh, saying what shelter I'm at and what shelter I start at, just so that uh, some of you guys can follow along a little bit easier. Uh, I meant to do that in my last like dozen videos, but I keep forgetting, so I'm gonna try really hard to remind myself to do that. But yeah, other than that, again, as always, I appreciate you guys watching and supporting the hike. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Killer, killer says goodnight. She's in the tent, so nice and warm. I'm about to go get nice and warm too, so yeah. See you tomorrow. <laughs>